The multi-layered maps on Travax are one of the most attractive and useful features on this online database for healthcare professionals. Developed by the Travel and International Health Team at Health Protection Scotland, the maps enable the user to appreciate the risk areas for malaria within a country and points of interest such as rivers, airports and altitude. Here's a quick demonstration. You find the malaria maps in the country specific information. Click on malaria prevention and here you've got a malaria map which you can enlarge and there you can see the different shady areas indicating the different risk for malaria. If you were to go back into the country specific information it would then give you advice on which malaria chemoprophylaxis agents would be advised. Click on the icon down here called Regional Information and this will bring up additional detail, for example, the national parks and the high altitude. So here in Peru we have the Andes. Click on this icon, it will bring up the airports and here the railways. If you were to click into a country with a cream colour background as well, this will indicate that there is malaria in that country and there it will take you into the malaria map. And so if you had somebody who was travelling all over South America, it would be very easy to click into the different malaria maps in each country, not forgetting to go into the regional information always to get that additional detail. The malaria maps are also available on the public site of Travax called Fit for Travel, developed by the same team and centre. As a healthcare professional advising travellers, you could direct your traveller to see this information on Fit for Travel. However, you should ideally be using Travax yourself, as this provides you with the more comprehensive content necessary within your advisory role.